Um, okay. What about the sheep? No. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, the a Windows Explorer window popped up on top of it that was all like, don't you want to browse through your phone? No. I enabled that function on my phone a while ago because I was cleaning pictures out. Um. But yeah. Did I finish the DLC? Yes, the DLC's done. Um. We're on the, we're actually in chapter three. We actually ran across where the main story is. I'm trying to find the sheep for this one side quest because more experience is good experience. Um, it's in a cave in the forest up here somewhere, he said. What cave? I don't know. We're going to try and find out. I have coffee. I'm trying to wake up. I'm like... I know it's in the afternoon, but all day today I've been dead tired, and I have no idea why. Yes, it will go up on YouTube at some point, um, Cleric. It's, it's, uh, the, right now the stuff that's going up on our YouTube channel is probably from several months ago. Isaac has changed it to where he pushes out three of the VODs every single day now. The VODs aren't... Each VOD isn't of a stream day. Each VOD is its own centralized, like, game. So if I play multiple games throughout the day, which I usually do, we, it gets broken up. But we, have three until the end of May. we have three until the end of May, he said. And, we're back to two. and then we're back to two a day. He's, we're trying to get caught up a little bit sooner. So what you see that goes up right now is probably a few months old. <laughs> like, last I saw, I think the Harry Potters were still going up. Or the, I think they might all be up now. Um, but Gothic, um, Gothic's not, I don't think it's gone up yet at all. Okay. Good morning, then. <laughs> For me, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm just like, I started an hour late today because I overslept. I guess I was that tired. Um... Like, I didn't want to get out of bed. I had to push myself out of bed. And I kept telling myself in my head as I was getting up, I'm like, just make coffee. Things will be better. Oh, there we go. Found it. Um. Here, we'll, we'll give him a chance to talk to us. Hey, you bum. You haven't come about that sheep, have you? You stole the sheep from Akil the farmer. So what? What are you gonna do about it? Give You're me that sheep or I'll punch you in the eye. Then look out, boy. All hell's about to break loose. That's it for you. That didn't go well. <laughs> that did not go well. Hold on. I have an idea. He had an apple. Hey, hey. <laughs> what bow and arrows? Everyone died at the end. Killer's dress. Hey, look. 
Look, it works, all right? It works. Hey, a heavy branch, wow. <laughs> I don't need to talk to him. Why do I need to talk to him? You know what I need to know? This. One sheep. One sheep is what we were on hey. about. Come with me. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, there's one of the sheep. Come with me. Are you gonna get burned to the fire? Come here. Oh, he's still alive. Okay. <laughs> what? Nothing's in here. Have I already been in here? And I just happened to find the bandits with the, the sheep? Yeah, I've been in here. Everyone died. The end. I swear to God, the sheep better not die on the way back. Immortal sheep. Look, I'm fine with it being immortal, okay? My big question is, which way to the farm? This way, apparently. Come on. It's a heavy branch. Come on. Just making sure nothing's around that can kill you. You seem to be, um, relatively stupid. Watch, I have the sheep go over a ledge and it breaks its legs on the way down. Where's the sheep? Oh. There it is. It's bouncing. Come on. There you go. The sheep is on an in disguise. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Get over here, you stupid sheep. What is the buzzing noise? Which buzzing noise? Hold on. The one that was supposed to be the ambient... Bugs? Yeah, it was in-game. I found the sheep rustlers. You were right. Those fellows in the forest cave did it. They'll never steal sheep from you again. Thank you, noble servant of Inos. Take this as a small token of thanks for the selfless favor you did for me. 150 gold. Very good. Here's a few gold coins. I hope it's enough. Why do I have to turn that quest in twice? Did anything else happen? No. I hope the sheep stay where they are right now. Sound like a sound glitch? I've had a few sound glitches in this. But usually reloading fixes them. It's not often. It could also be because of the frame rate. I don't know. Hangover? Oh my god, the trees. I feel fine, really. <laughs> Looks like Rukar won't be getting up anytime soon. I still think he's going to become possessed at some point. They said that there were more tomes lying around. Pyrocar said there were more tomes, but I haven't found anyone else yet. All right. So, forged mine shares. Someone selling illegal ore mine shares and enrich themselves that way. Oh, that's right. That's in town. I don't think anyone out here is likely to be. A problem or so hey the guy who saved especially yeah I've already talked to him whatever okay bye can we murder the sheep now do we need to I'm not just gonna cause problems personally I'm trying to find people that are uh, possibly possessed did I ever talk to you what Who's Cardiff? Oh, you are. He has a job. 
Does he? Cardiff says you may have a job for me. There are no jobs for monastery people down here at the harbor. <laughs> and don't think I don't recognize you just because you're wearing different clothes. You're about to stick your nose into things that are none of your business. Get lost. Okay. He's mean. Who? That bastard tried to kill me. What? Hey, how could that be my fault? All I did was pass on some information. Oh, if him. anyone is determined to step on your toes, I guess he'll have his reasons. Ah, you're involved with the gang. All right. In that case, I've got something for you. If you ever need some lockpicks, come to me. I still have a few around. Just ask me for something to drink. Give me something to drink. They're worth 10? Okay. <laughs> like, whatever. Um... Oh yeah, there's more thieves quests, aren't there? She wants us. They want a sextant, which I need to find. I don't remember where there's a sextant, but we can look. Cause I know I've seen one before. Feel like I murdered someone that had a house with a sextant. I feel like I sold a sextant to someone. I might have. Hold on. Let me ask this guy. We'll go to Mateo. Hey. Show me. I must beg your pardon for my poor selection. Whatever. Nobody ever asked for my Betty, Orc Slayer, Storm Cudgel, Raven's Beak. Here, have these. Storm. No, sell that. What's this? Rusty Two Hander. Sell that. War Cudgel. 50. Pfft. Rough broadsword, sell that. Rusty axe, we're selling that. Rough hatchet, rough sword. Rusty swords. Soon you won't have a poor selection. I keep the smith's hammer just because we don't know if that could be used for anything. Get rid of that. Uh, fire bow, crossbow. I don't really want a crossbow. Hunting bow, bow. Nothing surprises me anymore. We get rid of these. As it is. The black ore, which we almost never use, we keep. Nobody ever asked for How many apples do I have now? I have one. I'm supposed to be eating an apple. Hydrate. Why? No. Okay. I hydrate. I never knew that. Would you like to buy some gold chalices? What about this casket and this gold dish and this gold candlestick? What about silver chalices, man? Um, I don't want to sell any of this other stuff, honestly. Because I don't know if it's useful or not. Torches we keep, even though we haven't been reusing them. Field Raider mandibles I don't sell to you. Coal. This is a lot of coal. One, two. I, I, I don't think I necessarily need them, but whatever. Rock crystal, 22. Holy shit. I still have five blank runes. Here, I have a silver plate. I have one pick. Alright. Why? Um, you've got some mining shares among your wares. You've got some mining shares among your wares. Who sold them to you? Mining shares? Um, oops. Where did they come from? No idea where I got them. Honestly, Your Honor. I did drink up. Show me your wares. All the clothing. 
Perennis or Mindshare. I need to make sure I didn't sell him anything like a sextant or any of that. Hey man. Wanna buy some drugs, man? I think I have some drugs for you here. You go, man. <laughs> Want some drugs, man? Ring of Astral Power. I'm probably not gonna use that again, but just in case, hold on. Uh this one I'm not using. You must have missed it. You got busy with something for a split second. Wow. Bosper. There you are again. I see that you have mining shares for sale. <clears throat> I know nothing about that. You can have them if you want. I have a bow. I think this bow belongs to you. My bow. Where did you find it? In a dark hole full of rats. I hope you didn't get into trouble. No, I've done this kind of thing before. <laughs> Thank you anyway. I owe you for this. Wow. Did I just give away the only bow I had? I've got a few skins for you. A sheepskin? You didn't go slaughter some farmer's sheep in the pasture, did you? So I wouldn't dream of doing that. Ah. Even a shadow beast skin. Those are worth a lot. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. How are things in town? There's nothing new so far. Drop in again later. Remember when Halvor was, um... Oh, wait. I should ask him to... Hold on. There you are again. Show me... Here, show me your wares. He has a Corinus or Mindshare. How much is he selling it for? 50. Um, we are gonna sell. Where are they? Well, these. Only a little bit. Um, look at all these claws we have. Just in case. Of course I keep some on me, just in case. Here, we'll sell one of the four. He doesn't have a sextant on him. I know I got a sextant from someone. Who else is a, is a traitor here? There's the one girl that's down there on the docks. Halvor is gone because we got him arrested. He won't talk to me because his poor Greta was murdered. I don't know who did that. Hey, you. I can sell you some. Don't talk to me. Meldor. Her. Hey. Show me your wares. She's not important enough to have anything. Have a safe trip. Oh, shut up. Uh, who else over here would have shares? I could ask Lara's. Come back again later. Shut up. Want to know about this accent? No, I'll, hey. I'll I'll take a look. If I end up having problems, then y'all yeah, ask. Any news? You could say so. The paladins have arrested Bennett, our smith. That's How did that happen? Bennett went to town to buy supplies. Well, he never came back. If you want to learn more, you should ask Hodges. He was in the city with Bennett. Who's Hodges? Any news of Bennett? They seem to have taken him to the barracks and tossed him into the dungeon. How can we get him out of there? I don't have any ideas so far. I can't get to his cell to talk to him. All I can do is keep my ears open, but there isn't much to learn around here. Hodges. Who 
Who was Hodges? I don't remember a Hodges. You are possessed. What? Why are you talking about? Get out of here! God. Hodges, Hodges. I'm checking up here. I don't think these Hodges, but. Oh, Bromore. Bromore the Possessed. Martin. Um. If he doesn't see that, I'm not going to that. That's an open secret. Nobody wants to know. <sighs> Wait, was Bennett the guy that was in the back? I don't think so. But let's find out. <sighs> yeah, no, it's not him. Carl? Worker. What's his name, who I believe I've already checked to see if he has any King's Sorrel on him? Show me your. He has none. Unless he has some in his chest and just doesn't care. God damn it, that was a bottle of water. My sight, you Lord Andre will hear of what. It's fine. Doesn't remember anything, and that's the way we like it. I really regret having sold off apples in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Really didn't deserve that. Hey, Regis. Bye, Regis. Who says things like that? Okay, they said that there was a whole bunch of chalices up here. How's business? Lousy. Somebody should have told me that Corinus has gone to the dogs in the meantime. That's no news. I've only known the city like this. You should have seen it a few years ago. You would have liked it then. Okay. Hey, Diego, I'm going in your house. It's not really your house, so there's just ham lying on the table. Is that an apple? like my bestest friend or something. It's close enough. Haven't I already been in here? You no. have no business being here. Oh. Who the fuck are you? You'll regret this. No one cares about you. Rather 
Right, right, left. Blood Chalice. It's fine. Hey. Oh, my head. I know, it's horrible. Get I'm out sorry. Of here. You get out of here. This is Diego's house, you dumbass. Hey, get out. Hey, what did you want in there? All right. We're going to have to be a little smarter about this, huh? I only have two sleep scrolls. Guys. Halt! A troublemaker like you can't go to Lord On. I'm telling you for. It was just like you said. I need sleep spells. That's terrible. Let's go to Lord Andre first. I don't remember if he sells any magic. Hey, you! Show. He has nothing. I bought him out or something. I don't know. Why don't you have anything? Show me. He has nothing. <laughs> he has nothing. All right. Um. The work of Beliar. Tavern, Sardis, Storm, Valley of the Mines, Monastery. Be back. What did you mean? A very slim chance about what, Adrian? About the sextant or? I don't think he has sleep spells, if but. If you deny the robe, you deny in us. Go oh, and think God. about this. Go and think about this. I am hey, you. Brother, if the eye is not retrieved. I want to learn the fourth circle of magic. It is still not finished. Why is it not finished? How are your studies coming along? The enemy has many faces. All right, show me your show words. Me your That's oblivion. You don't have sleep. Hey. He can, can't teach. So the only one that could sell anything is what's his name over here. Ah. Give me a better robe. I should be better than all of you. I'm sleep. There. Now I have some sleep spells. I have five sleep spells. That must, should be enough to do what I need to have done. This is my bedroom. I'm gonna sleep in it. I feel great. Um. No, it's up, 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 up. It's too much shit in me. There's too much crap. Landlord Harbor City. Um, we first of all need to go see Adrian and give him 150 for beating the crap out of people. Honestly, cut out this magic crap. You're fine. Smart kid. Hey. Just you wait, you son. 
You're worth a hundred. <laughs> and it's usually like flat costs for things. Nothing there. I don't need to talk to you anymore. I have oblivion scrolls in case you're upset at me for anything. That's why bags of holding are always supposed to float the item you want to the top. <laughs> If I fight the knights, no, that's horrible. Here, you. Oh my goodness! Stop it right now! Easy as that. That's not what I heard. Five hundred. Sausage, healing herb, coal, and gold. And there's more, I believe. Thanks, guys. We'll see about that. Alarm! <laughs> what alarm? Oh, him. Cut out that magic! <laughs> Watch it. One more time oh, and I'll slug my you. my head. One. Stop it, right now! And now for the fun... Not bad at all. I'm not saving it. Just in case they're upset that I did this to some knights. I don't want to hear that. <clears throat> hey. That <laughs> I have a paladin sword. That's nothing. Tiger was rubbing his feet his face on my feet again. Don't tell this to anyone. I think that went over pretty well. All things considered. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna go and pay our fine. We're having bitch slapped a few people on the street. Um, what about you people? But with it, the trees and animals were also washed away. Can and you use um use dark magic in front of Vatras and have him just like have his mouth hang open and just stare? As we wave our hands at someone and suck their life force dry. <laughs> They're smashing each other's skulls. I don't know if that, which is what I would call it. Look, if I'm going to have to pay a hundred, I might as well get my money's worth. Just stay away from me with that magic of yours. See? That wasn't so hard. Cut away that weapon. Smart kid. This gives you Daggerfall flashbacks, a whole oh, pack man. of guards oh, milling around the house and you're standing up barking, halt, halt, halt. <laughs> I did notice that when I played a bit of Daggerfall. Because I have Daggerfall Unity still installed, though I haven't streamed it. Um, I did notice that they, like spawn magically in a it room in front of you. you with a in the but when you attack, if I let you so, how much? 100 gold pieces. Oh, just 100? Okay. I want to pay the good. I sh what about Bennett, the blacksmith? You mean the mercenary? He is sitting in jail where he belongs. Can I talk to him? Certainly. Just go in. But if you try to help him escape, you will be in for it. God. I got all that experience by beating up all those people in town and they're just all like, you can't be doing that. You have to pay us a hundred gold. <laughs> Are you Bennett? You look like Bennett. Hey, Bennett. There's blood in your cell. How come you're in the slammer? Those swine have thrown me in the hole. I'm supposed to have murdered a paladin. But I didn't do it. They're only trying to frame me. Why would they do that? How would I know? You've got to get me out of here. Hey, Talk Tiger. to Lord Hagen. Tear down the wall. Who cares? Just do something. What happened? I went downtown with Hodges to buy some supplies for our boys. 
Suddenly, we heard a loud scream and the sound of running feet. Get to the point. We knew at once that something had happened and that they would grab us at once if they saw us there. We ran like hell. Then, just before we got to the city gate, I tripped and sprained my ankle. The rest is soon told. The militia was on me at once and they threw me straight into this hole. Who was murdered? I have no idea. One of the paladins. I don't know them. Have you got a name? Some Lothar, I think. Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure. You had better ask Lord Hagen. He knows all the details. Do they have any evidence against you? They say they have a witness who recognized me. Well, do you know who the witness is? No, all I know is that he's lying. Hmm. Who's leading the investigation? Lord Hagen himself. Since the victim was one of the paladins, this falls under martial law. What does that mean? That's easy to guess. If I don't get out of here, they're going to let me swing without further ado. You've got to help me or there'll be a war. Lee's not going to take this lying down. You can figure out for yourself what that means. Oh, Hodges. I know where to find his stuff. I have Tiger. I have a Putters. Putty. Hello. 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 All right, so I need to talk to... If you heard that the thump just now, that was Tiger's head against the desk. I did not push it. He did it to himself. He just went thud. <laughs> What about Bennett, the blacksmith? You He's mean gone. a mercenary? He is sitting in jail where he belongs. Can I talk to him? Certainly. I already did that. How's the situation in town? Everything is under control. <sighs> I can't talk to him. Bennett's in jail. There's a witness who claims to have seen Bennett. I'll have to find him if I want to discover the truth. Who's the witness? Hey. Oh no. We put away the swine. What can you tell me about this area? What's These new? These are the barracks. Where do you want to go? Oh my god. Thank. I feel like that was added in later on. They were all like, uh, we need to add that voice animation in with a few different people. Hey. Hodges. Um, the only place I can think of for Hodges, let's see. Bennett's in jail. Lothar, one of the paladins, is murdered. Lord Hagen should be able to tell me more. He's in charge of the investigations. There's a witness who claims to have seen Bennett. I'll have to find him if I want to discover the truth. The sentence is death by hanging. The execution will take place in a few days. Him. He's announcing it. Don't bother me. I'm on. Ugh. Hey, what's up? We, uh, as long as the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I, I can have myself a couple of beers here. <laughs> what more could you ask? You're working for the paladins? Well, yeah, I, I report to them on the situation in the city. What is this At the moment, everything is quiet. Would you like another beer? Mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. Okay. You were about to say something about the orcs. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <gasps> oh! The orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. Mm, they're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, and, and the pass is, is held by the paladins. Well, actually, they're dead. Not even a meat bug could get through there. The Seekers uh, did. How are things? No reason to worry. We in this go okay. home and let us do our work. I, know, I, I get the whole point in that. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. It's so I can go down to the port the and talk to what's-his-name and tell him. 
Um, I'm gonna do something real quick. Here, we're gonna say sleep until next evening. Because people should be in bed soon ish. Damn it, where is he? You said that? Is it Garvel is his name? So why won't they listen to me? As if I All right, Garvel. I've got some information about the orcs. Let's hear it. They're stuck in the Valley of Mines, and it looks like they're going to stay there. To be on the safe side, the paladins are guarding the pass. Good. If you find out more, let me know. Mm. What do you think? Do you want to go up against me again? I think I've gotten better in the meantime. Those are all just rules. Against Auric? Hey. I want to fight against you. Just stay away from me. I only fight from noon until evening. The fighting is only worth it if there are enough spectators who place magic. bets. Something wrong it's with much too late now. Come back tomorrow at noon. You asked for it. Smart. Ow! I like how they're timed while I'm stuck in the conversation. Oh, I know Ulrich. Ulrich's the guy that stands behind that one house and says, uh, well, you can train with him. Let's wait and see what happens. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to take that one off, and we're putting sleep as our number eight. I shouldn't have to put anyone to sleep since it's nighttime. People should be in bed. Unless I need to wait until midnight? I don't know. If I do have to wait until midnight, that's fine. We can wait until midnight. But I'm curious to see what happens about getting into the town and doing this at night. No one suspects a Weezord of Enos. You have no business being here. Shut up. Wine. She's there all like, what are you doing in our home? Like, I don't know. Why do you have a wealthy home when you're just workers? It's a gold chalice, that's not a bloody chalice. There's a chest right there. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. All right. So I think we'll need to to go until the evening. Larius and then a judge. Why can't I use the bed? Like, there we go. Sleep until midnight. There we go. Damn it, what's up? Damn it, what's up? Go back to sleep. It's okay. Damn it, what's up? Take your paws off that. Nothing in there. Don't worry about it. There's nothing in there. Is it because I'm not sneaking? Because I don't know how to sneak? Possible. I don't know. Damn it. What's up? Damn it. What's up? There's bread and wine. Silver plate. Gold chalice. Blood chalice. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Bye. <laughs> there was a blood. There's a blood chalice in here. All right. Let's go. This side of the street first. I love how people just leave the doors wide open. Left, right, right, left, right. Woo stealing, yeah. Left, right, right, left, right. Money! It's not a blood chalice, though. Honey, milk, honey, milk, bread. <laughs> Gold chalice. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm a little worried that I've already stolen some of the blood chalices and then I just got rid of them. Hey, how are you? Bye. Fish soup, pan. <clears throat> How are you? What do you want here? Go! Well, I need to see if you have a blood chalice. That's a silver chalice. That's a note of. Ugh. A note of Devonshire. Guys. Shut up! I need to see if this is worthwhile. Did they just stop chasing me? <laughs> For payment of outstanding debts, a pond item shall be accepted whose value equals that of the debts. Pond, a decorated gold chalice of the Blood Chalice Collection. Sign Lutero Merchant. Lemmer, pawnbroker. Hey. Don't mind me, I'm going in here. What do you want here? Go! I'm looking for blood chalices. I'll never get this open without the right key. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. <sighs> Lab water Damn bottles. It. What's up? Alchemist workbench. Hey, are you an alchemist? I've heard you were with the paladins in the Valley of Mines. I'm impressed. You should take your time and browse my goods. Right now, I have a very special potion to offer. I don't think I ever found them. Show me your wares. It's my pleasure, Reverend Brother. Yeah, I'm straight. Look, serve dexterity, gimme. Snapper weed. Fire rain. Okay. I don't need that. Or mind shares. Why do you have those? You go to the monastery now to be judged. What? what? Have you gone off your rocker? Like hell I will. Those miserable magicians don't have the slightest proof against me. And what about those fake ore mining shares you huckstered all over the country? What? They bear your signature. You're guilty. What? I'll drag you through town by your collar like a filthy rag.
He's guilty. I know it. I take that. Well, we'll see the next time. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? <laughs> I like how it's always the voices change. So, are you going to the monastery now, or should I give you another? You'll live to regret this. Yes, damn it. I'll go to that monastery, but don't you think you'll get away with this? Beat it! So I found the guy that was selling the ore shares and I didn't even have to try. I just stumbled across him, accused him, and he's all like, how dare you? Okay. <laughs> it was a little odd. I feel like I missed, I definitely missed something. I definitely missed a beat on something there. Hold on. It's just sleep until next evening. He didn't even have kings a king sorrel. I'm really upset by that. I felt like he should have. Also, his house is two stories and there's no second story. I'm angry at that. There's no second story here either. What is the second hey, story for? As as you look. Why is there a second story? <laughs> Why? Excuse me, I'm gonna just climb under your roof. No. Um. Okay. Personally, I feel like. How many blood out chalices do I have now? I have two. Technically, three, which means there's three more. Is that a statue of Enos? That's the statue of Enos. <clears throat> I already took everything from there. If I have a blood chalice that I sold somewhere, I need to find out where I sold it. There's a hand there's so many people everywhere. I might have sold it to the pirates. Um on the other place. <laughs> Which may mean I may have borked that entire quest anyways. It's where they walled up crazy Uncle Ingmar. You don't want to go up there anyway. Hey, Wombo. I come from our mutual friend Ramirez. Um. Oh? That Ramirez is a little rat. And he's no friend of mine. Never mind. Did you bring me anything? Yeah, you can have that some money. depends on what it is you want. What do you want? 50 gold? 100 gold? Okay. I'll tell you how it works. You pay 250 gold pieces, then I won't be here at night. If you're too conspicuous and I happen to be in the area, the deal is off. All right. I've got your money. Yeah, it's taking too long because it's stuck with the timer for some reason. It's possibly a frame rate issue. Right, I don't know. I'll disappear this in the evening from now on. And remember, if you cause trouble around me, I don't know you. Yeah, I think I cleaned out this house. What do you want here? Go. You have no business being here. Holy crap, why is there so many of you? You have no business being here. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. 
Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. I think I've already cleared that place out, though. Hold on, let's find out real quick. What do you want here? Go! Shut up. Take your paws off that. It's already empty. Yeah, see, this was my... This was my, uh... This was my fault when I came in here originally. Was I came in and I took a bunch of stuff from a bunch of houses. But when I did so, I wasn't aware about the Thieves uh, Guild quest stuff. What do you want here? Go! Take your paws off that. Left, left, right, right, left, left. It's just money. Silver plate. Uh, what's the matter? Get out of here. She has a brush on her. You think anyone would be upset if they don't notice that we murdered her? <laughs> There's nothing in this house. Assaulting a lady in her room, wizards of scum. I assaulted her and then I stabbed her through her chest with my sword. Because that's the way I roll. <laughs> Fuck. I had to have sold the chalices. There's no way I had to have sold them. Shit. Um, I wish there was an actual teleport teleport that would take me. Mixier is here. I like how Mixier- oh, because Vatris is praying. Okay. I was like wondering why that was like that, but okay. That makes sense. Um... I need to go to the pirates and see if they have them, but at the same time, I kind of might just throw my hands up in the air on the whole, uh, Bloody Chalice quest. Could have guessed that un untrammeled looting would have consequences. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> oh, I bought that potion, didn't I? Where is it? She doesn't, she doesn't, she's dead. She's just dead. 
It's fine. She's dead. Okay. What do we need to do for the... the forge mine shares? Someone's selling. I gotta go over to... I've gotta go back to the... To the whatchamacallit. To the, the, the monastery. Because I had the one guy turn himself in somehow. It is good that you have come. You are accused of theft. There are witnesses. I will not tolerate such conduct in the city. You must pay a penalty to atone for your crime. Is it 100? How much? 100 gold pieces. Okay, everything I stole is worth more than that. I want to pay the penalty. Good. Yes, <laughs> you are accused of theft. There are witnesses. You're gonna have to pay the penalty. How much? 100 gold pieces. Okay. How's the sextant thing going? I don't know where it is. I don't remember seeing it. I feel like the pirates had it. Um, I feel like I found it over with the pirates. I feel like I sold it to said pirates. I Oh, you know what? I know exactly where it is. It's in Greg's house. I sold it. <laughs> I remember it now. I'm looking for my... Uh... There's more to that. Oh, well. I'm looking for my... This. This, and then... Why did I do what? Kill the innkeeper? She's dead. There's a second one. Oh, I didn't know there's a second one. Beat it! You beat it! Fucky little leech! If you deny the robe, you deny in us. Go and think upon this. I've been able to retrieve a few mining shares. Very good. You must remove them all from circulation. This is poison for the people. Bring them all to me. Here, I will give you the necessary means. One more little thing. Stay away from the roadside shrines. We have heard that some of them have been desecrated. No one can say what effect they have now. It is not your task to solve this problem. The paladins will take care of this matter. In chapter four, you think it'll be hard to miss? Oh. Yeah, I'm not in chapter four yet. can't wear the robes watch out for anal probes oh my god all right let's see what do i have for my mana now we're at 290 that's pretty good i mean granted i think 60 of it is based off of stuff that i'm wearing but that means i'm 230 without it that's really good compared to what i used to be um i didn't know i needed to remove them all from circulation so We're gonna have to buy them. I don't know how many there are. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Oh, you. How do I? Oh, I need to put him to sleep and go into his chest, or I need to wait until nighttime and go into his chest. Damn it. It's gonna get even worse. Well. Let's see if um, the alchemist back here has any mind shares. I don't necessarily think he does. Originally, there was only one sextant in the whole game, but Night of the Ravens added that pirate one. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense.
Uh oh. Show me. Your he doesn't have anything. Bottom out. We have to wait. All right. We know two of the people. And Thorben will not forgive us for killing Greta. Or Greta, or whatever the hell her name was. She doesn't have anything. Um, actually, do I have that note about... Yeah, this one. Lamar. Pawnbroken. Pawnbroker. You don't say. Which should be him. Lynn? Sure. I'll think. Make up your. I don't need him to lend me money. He has a gold chalice right there. Silver plate, his bed. And then he has the chest. And I think the bloody chalice is in the chest. If it's not on him. If I found any black pearls, yes, I have some black pearls on me. That there Ultima spell reagent that was placed in this game. <laughs> there you are. Sure. All right. Mind share. Show me. Mind share. I can check the other merchants at the merchant area. Um, Rupert, sleep, sleeping. Completely. That's really weird. Ish. Nobody ever asked for. I don't remember any other merchants up there. So he bade Enos leave a part of his power in his realm so that he might restore um, to the human no, 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 if no, no, no. the beast should return. How much? I have twenty-seven learning points. And Enos, <sighs> how much in strength? His wisdom, Forty-six. Did so. Ugh. I almost want to set, spend seven points on strength just so I can wield something stronger if I have to. But <sighs> kind of trying not to. Okay, these guys real quick. That's terrible. Show me. They never should have let it get so far. Now one of the mercenaries. Something had to. He simply talks too much. Nothing. How's my dexterity? It's low-ish. It's 40. Hey, you! Someone's gotta do the work. You're selling mining shares? Yes, some flop that was. That's, that's the last time I get involved in a shady deal like that. But that's terrible. Show me your wares. Don't tell this to anyone. Speed potion. He'd better he has all the other potions, too. And Here, buy that. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. The sword that requires 65. Don't I'm not worrying too much about having to use swords or anything at the moment. If I do get to that, then I do it. You're selling illegal mining shares. Yes. And? So what? If I don't do it, someone else will. Everyone else already is. She'll take your pick. Oh, he's selling three of them. I've got to go. Suit you. That's an open secret. He simply talks too much. He'd better shut up. Fire net all that. Uh uh. Don't tell this to anyone. That's what I've always said. Where did you get those mining shares you're selling? Sorry, Everything but I can't tell you. Show me. It is an honor to Who me that a representative like that? of our. Who says what else like do you that? have? Militia belt, leather belt, nah. He had better shut up. I don't think I have any weapons to sell to him. Honestly, I think I've already cleared out most of my inventory. Yeah. 
Oh no, I haven't. It is an because I have three daggers, one of that. <laughs> Two paladin swords. I probably should have kept that paladin sword. It's fine. It doesn't do that much more than my wand does right now, anyways. Um, oops, sorry. The one. Who else was there? That bartender. Thief Guild Leader has the 65 dexterity sword. Yeah, I'm, I don't care about dexterity all that much. My chances of getting it high enough is probably not going to happen. Um, honestly, I'm unlikely to spend on my strength as well. But I don't know. We'll find out. I'm kind of... Because it costs so much for a single mana upgrade right now, I've uh, kind of been relying on permanent upgrades for other stuff. My strength is not 50, it's 46. I can't believe that. But there, where Adonis... Um... I think... Think, think. I might have all of them now. And it works all day, too. We'll find out in a second. Everybody knows. Yeah, it's 46 and I have an odd number of, That's I have a weird number of experience points right now, only or learning points, only because I had bought the ability to pick parts off of monsters. I've been able to retrieve a few mining shares. Very good. You must remove them all from circulation. This is poison for the people. Bring them all to me. Here? Yeah? I will give you the necessary means. 1400 gold. The best weapon right now is the Or Long Sword, but you'd have to forge it. Yeah, and I can't forge anything. It's not what I heard. Um That's Who else would be selling the Or Mine shares? The only other people I can think of are down here. I need. Give me. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, who says things like that? Um, Halvor's not around. Martin up here will sell stuff, but I doubt he would have illegal mine shares, but we can test. I don't know if there's any other merchants that are up in the upper district. I don't think there are. I'll go ahead and laugh at the paladin. Then pay it. Oh, paladin spells. Mole rat fat. Mm. What then? Pay fine short sword from Martin is good. That's the fine long sword. Fine short sword. No, it's 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 horrible. It's fifty. My wand is 55. Yeah, the Fire Mage's wand is better. Pretty sure it is. Hold on. Yeah, it's 55. And it, and it gives me an extra 20 mana. 
my it's gonna take a lot for me to get rid of the the wand I'm carrying just because of the mana boost. I mean, it's really, really, really good to have the extra 20. It's not necessary. I could definitely get rid of it. But I don't see a reason to get rid of it yet. I... You have murdered. Oh, shut up. No one hey, liked her. Thanks for saving. I can only wait and see. Thanks for saving me. Uh, maybe Constantino has the ore or has some things. I don't know. He doesn't have anything. Why doesn't he have anything? Why are all the alchemists selling nothing? Spoke to him, and the human became his subject. And Enos gave unto him a portion of his divine power, so that he might undo the work of Bellamy. All right, let me go and tell him I already found who had done it. Because I honestly, I don't know if they're all out of circulation. I'm assuming he would tell you if they're all out of circulation, but I don't know who else would be selling stuff. And it could, it could be trying to do it with someone like Halvor or someone. Inos enlightens all those who recognize his wisdom. That's totally obvious. I know who brought those mining shares into circulation. Salandril did, the alchemist from the upper quarter of town. Then bring him here. We have things to discuss with him. Salandril is here in the monastery. Well done. We shall deal with him later. Is there anything else you want to tell me? No, not at the moment. Wait, so I did that. All right. Beat it! Chrono sells a weapon called Typhoon. Typhoon? I can go and check it then. Typhoon may not be a bad one to do. Let me see. Uh, the easiest way to Chronos is actually from the tavern. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I think. I was going to check anyways and go to the pirates here, so... See if I have any bloody chalices with them, see if the sextant is there, because honestly... I hate buying back stuff that I sold, but... I prefer having the experience over the money. So I'd rather just give the money back and consider it almost like a loan or something and then just get what I need back from them. Yeah. Nope, wrong way. Plus we can check Kronos at the same time. I'm definitely not against having a weapon that gives me a better advantage at attacking. I don't want to get rid of the 20 mana, but being able to hit things harder is probably going to be a lot more beneficial in the long run. I'm kind of surprised you can't join the circle of uh, mages or the the water circle in this one. I think I've seen one too many um, 
videos that must have had custom content because I did see people wearing uh, water magician robes. I do know that there's one custom like side game that someone made utilizing Gothic 2 with all the upgrades and it's I think it's only in German. Um, but it looks fantastic. Like they did a really good job just for the hey. visuals alone on it and created a whole new area I believe and everything. Um, if if I was able to understand German, I would love, love, love to play it. But, like, without being able to do that, yeah, it kind of kills it. Um, I don't think I need to talk to Saturus. Kronos, where is Kronos? Kronos is... One of the pasty white guys that I always said that I can never remember where the hell he stands because he shifts where he stands all the time. Where's Kronos? That's not Kronos. Where is Kronos? Is he all the way over here? Is that him? That might be him. No, none of them ever go inside, Let's I've noticed. Deal. Even at night, they don't seem to ever go inside. He has Wand of the Mages. Which is higher strength, but doesn't give the it only gives an extra five. And it doesn't have the 20 mana. He's not selling Typhoon. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe the name is different. It's not 75 though, it's 65. My wand is 60. And it gives me 20 MP. The wiki could be wrong. It's very... Well... My... So I've noticed that there are a lot of guides and a lot of wikis that are incorrect. I'm wondering if they're not incorrect. I'm wondering if... The latest patches and or who knows whatever else may have adjusted a number or two here and there. Maybe that's what it is. Because I feel like I've run into too many guides uh, like... And explanations on different things that don't have the right numbers down. It is also very possible that someone just has the incorrect information. All that matters is strength, so don't tell me that. Don't know. It's not real. It's, it's, it's eh, whatever. I'd have done it differently. They don't take me for this. Nobody wants to know. You listen to the wrong people. Greg shouldn't have anything inside here. Yeah, because it was on his table. I took it and sold it. And it should be with the guy that's in the cave over here. Oh, I need to get more coffee in a second. Ugh. I see what time it is, and I'm just, I'm like, the exhaustion level. Like, I should not be this tired. Got a recipe for you. I've oh. got a recipe for you. Great. Let me see. What kind of recipe? Be careful. That's absolutely deadly stuff. You're scaring me, but I'll give it a try anyway. I forgot I could give him recipes. It's from Snaff. But it sounds terrible. I must try it at once. <laughs> I just realized not only is it the voice actor for Saturus, he tried to add an accent in because he didn't say terrible. He said, terrible. <laughs> what else have you got? I can get you anything a pirate needs in order to survive. Thank <laughs> God. Yeah, see, he has a whole bunch of stuff on him. 
Ah, uh, he doesn't have any bloody chalice, chalices or anything, so I not, must not have sold to him. I don't know who I sold it to initially. Shit. Oh well. <laughs> What's new in the camp? Francis got what was coming to him. I can't begin to tell you how that pleases me. You're all right. Come on, let's have a drink. It's on me. And Greg is finally back. He lost the ship, but at least he'll restore order to the camp. Some guy in a forum says, Kronos might be wearing Typhoon on his back and suggest selling him a weapon so he would switch? What do you do? Sell him a better weapon and he just switches to it? I can look. I mean, that seems... That seems like too much, though. I want some... Name your poison. I want all of it. Give me a double. A double hammer. Don't do anything you might regret, kid. I hope you don't want this for yourself. I want loot. Great stuff. Give me some rather fun. I didn't realize I could have just had him do it. <clears throat> All right, so Lou's hammer has an unknown effect. <gasps> Double hammer makes the toughest drinker sleepy. Okay. I don't know who I sold the sextant to. Who else can you sell stuff to here? Not as far as I can see. Uh, he really should have known better. Yeah, I haven't gone to the Black Troll. I'm not going to worry about it. It's If it's not something I'm going to normally find and I, would, I, I need someone to tell me it, I'm not going to do it. I've been playing Gothic 2... And keep it in mind, too. I've been playing this kind of on my own, doing my own thing. I have not been looking up how to do anything. Occasionally, when something really stumps me, I might ask for advice. But in general, I'm trying to go through it as... Um, as blind as possible, as vanilla as possible, as authentically as possible. The only thing I ever, ever really cared about looking up, which I will also do with the third game, is making sure that I know the proper path to becoming a magician. Because I know it's the hardest thing to do in any of their games, but it's the one thing I want to do. Now. Anyways. There are still, still some trolls back there I could attempt to kill. I'm not going to try because I'm not quite sure what to do with them. Um, if I sold any bloody chalices, they might actually be in the Valley of the Mines. Not going to worry about that. Um, I think... The only thing I want to do, let me go back here to take a nap. I think there's a uh, there's a thing here we can sleep at. I'm going to teleport to the uh, the landlord because I want to see if yeah, there's beds here. I want to see if um, Hodge is there. Because I'm trying to, I like Bennett, I'm a little interested in his story. Um, where is it? Monastery Landlord. Hmm. 
Patrick, Cord. Let's hope he doesn't see that. Um, Bodo, Farmer, Torloff, Cipher. Yeah, it's whoever used to work. There, here's Hodges. Hey, I, I was right. Can I buy? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. Why aren't you working? Haven't you heard yet? The paladins have arrested Bennett. What happened? Well, we were in the city to shop when all of a sudden we heard a scream. Someone yelled, There they are! Get them! Boy, was I scared! I took to my heels and ran like the demons were after me. Bennett was right behind me. I don't know what happened, but when I got outside the city, he had disappeared. I must have lost him in the city. How did the mercenaries here on the farm react? Well, I don't know exactly what they're planning, but some of them are really pissed off. I can understand that. If it were up to them, they'd rather attack the city today than tomorrow to get Bennett out. You can attack Talk an entire city. Maybe there's something you can do. He really said that. Oh, Lee. So why was Bennett arrested? Murder. Bennett is supposed to have murdered a paladin. What nonsense. I was with him the whole time. So why don't you go to town and explain the whole thing? They'd stick me in the slammer as his accomplice. Nah, certainly not in the current situation. Situation? You know, Onar in the city. That's bound to come to a bad end. Alright, we have to talk to Lee. It's still not giving me an indication of where they were, who could have been yelled for them. So, my current thought process is whoever ended up yelling, ah, oh, there they are, was actually trying to frame them, which means there's someone who actively is willing to kill paladins in the city. Either someone that's possessed or someone that's directly aligned with Beliar. I've come from the Valley of Mines. The castle there was attacked by dragons. So it's true. Lars said that rumors about dragons are circulating through the city. I didn't believe it. What about the paladins? They've been thoroughly decimated. Good. Maybe that will make Lord Hagen move to the Valley of Mines with his men. The fewer paladins stay here, the better. You basically attacked the entire city earlier. Look. If one if one magician of the third circle can beat the crap out of that town without anyone lifting a finger to try and stop me, I worry for the entire city's defense. I mean, the innkeeper is dead. A bunch of people are in jail. One of them is definitely innocent. What about ben? Two of them so are you innocent. Heard about that. The bastards have locked him up, just like that. As if I didn't have enough problems with my own people. Now I have to take care of the paladins too. What will you do about Bennett? I don't know yet. A few of the boys would like to run to the city and knock Lord Hagen's teeth down his throat. Luckily, we don't have enough people for an operation like that. And besides, it's not my style. Are you going no. to stay here and see what happens then? Certainly not. Lairs is still in the city and trying to find out how we can get Bennett out of there. Until that happens, I'm trying to calm my people. I only hope that Lairs doesn't take too long. Can I help you in this matter with Bennett? Sure. A bit of intelligence and sanity certainly wouldn't hurt in this matter. Enos knows there are enough idiots running around here. Go to the city and see if you can find a way to get Bennett out of there. But don't be too long about it. I don't know how much longer I can keep the men under control. Shit, that might mean it's time. Any news about Bennett? No, we still don't know enough. Helping Bennett. I don't know if it's timed or not, but it definitely sounds timed. All right, let's talk to Hodges real quick. I have a feeling we're not going to find anything out, and I'm going to have to go back to the city. But let's see if Hodges has anything new to say. Nope. All right. 
anything new. No time for things like that. Larys. Hey. That's exactly what I said. Any news? You could say so. The paladins have arrested Bennett, our Smith. Yeah, we know. So I've heard. That's a bad business. You can say that again. That's that's it. That's all we got. For fuck's sakes. Will it ever change? Hey, you. Yeah, uh, we actually finished Garvel's quest. So, Garvel's quest apparently involved talking to one guy that works with the paladins, getting him drunk enough to like get him to talk, and then talking to Lord Hagen or whatever his name is. That's what I've always said. In the upper city to find out what the paladins are there, give him that information, you get like 300 experience. Would be. I mean, it's good early on, and experience is still good now, be considering. Alan need like 3,000 more. Technically 2,700. 2,700 more experience until I level. But with it, the trees and animals were also washed away. And a deep sadness overcame Just like you said. Um. Yeah, we need to talk to Hagen. I mean, what's his name at the ups, like... I don't know. Typical, isn't it? Who says things like that? Hey, you're one of us. Oh, Let fuck. me tell you something. If you intend to empty some pockets in town, be especially careful with the merchants. They're pretty sharp at watching their stuff, but I can give you a tip. Try no, to grab the desired object with one hand and wave about with the that's other. Terrible. That distracts them. <laughs> Wave your hand in front of their face while you're picking their pocket. They won't like know what's hit them. Like, um. So, doing all right? What else do you want? I didn't steal anything else, honest man. <laughs> well, that's right. He's the guy we chased down, beat the crap out of, and took the stuff back from. Oh my god. I've got to go. Suit you. Um. That's an open secret. Hey, you. That's not what my husband thinks. Teach around, teach around, handle a bow, nah. And he works all day too. I feel like there should be sound effects with them in here, training instead of it being silent. Do you have anything else? What about Bennett, the blacksmith? You mean the mercenary? He is sitting in jail where he belongs. Can I talk to him? Certainly. Just go in. How Everything is under control. Is it? Alright, so none of that works. I already talked to Hodges. Oh, it's still open. He's just standing here. Fuck! He has nothing. Why is this ring so fucking big? <laughs> Lothar, one of the paladins, was murdered. Lord Hagen should be able to tell me more. He's in charge of the investigations. There's a witness who claims to have seen Bennett. I'll have to find him if I want to discover the truth. Bennett the Smith has been arrested by the paladins. They say Bennett murdered a paladin. His apprentice Hodges says he's innocent, but he daren't enter the city. If can't prove Bennett's innocence quickly enough. Lee can't be held responsible for anything that happens. His people won't hesitate to attack the town at any moment and get Bennett out by force. <sighs> How do I get Bennett out of here? I like how they're like totally fine with me opening up cells. All right, you win. What do you want? I don't like you, so you're you you get your door closed. Do 
He doesn't ever go to bed. Don't know what this is about, but is this a weasel or I see? Yeah, it's not my best outfit though. I keep on putting it on because I have to go to the monastery to do it. This is my best outfit at the moment. There's supposed to be a better wizard robe at some point, but I haven't gotten it yet. And honestly, the defensive upgrade I get from this armor is worth wearing this. I don't know who hey, else to you. talk to about Bennett. Someone had to have seen something. Maybe the Thieves Guild? Everybody knows by now. Um, no, but to, to cover what you were mentioning, Dev, um, about not knowing what the game about, Gothic is a series created by Piranha Bytes that spans basically Gothic 1, 2, and 3. There is a fourth Gothic, but it was not made by Piranha Bytes and as such is not very Gothic-like at all. Um, it was made by the original publisher who retained the rights after there was a split between the publisher and the developer. Um, so they tried making a fourth game, and apparently it's not very good hey, at all. You. Um, About the blood chalices. I can only sell these chalices as a set. Um, but Gothic as a game, it's a fa it's a dark fantasy type game. People typically call it dark fantasy. It's other than the visuals, it doesn't really really come off as a dark fantasy to me. Um, but it is a fantasy game. It is one of the earliest open world fantasy games in a lot of ways that also blended the whole action adventure type of stuff to it. It's a lot of fun, and it's like been surprising me how much I've enjoyed it. The amount of hours that I've sunk into this is kind of insane. Okay, the thieves don't know anything. I don't know what I'm going to do for Lee. I have no idea where to go for Bennett. Someone needs to know something. The only thing I know of is up, Uptown. The one claim to fame this game has is there's no load screens once you're in the map. Um, I'm going to go into Upper Town and see if there's anything up there. I don't believe Hi, Quizzy. Um, he had better shut up. There's also multiple solutions to anything you want to do. Like, anything you want to do. I could sit here and be all like... <laughs> oh my god. And they would hold me accountable for doing that, but I can end up taking him down. I could take his weapon. He would not be able to defend himself. There's just, there's many different solutions to almost anything you can end up doing. Um, it's pretty cool what you can end up doing for the most part. The world is pretty decent. It's, it's, you can get yourself lost in it. And um, Gothic 1 is a lot more compact, but Gothic 2 is definitely the more polished version. Gothic 3 is supposed to have a lot of issues, especially with regards to the fact that it was pushed out the door prior to it being ready be released so it has a lot of issues all three of the games really need you to install some special patches to get them to run properly um but they're definitely worth playing you can easily get them on gog i believe they're on steam they are on steam at this point and they are fully available on steam um <clears throat> yeah albrecht what do you know nothing I don't think he wants to talk to me about anything until hey, I get you. the Eye of Enos. Yo. I need to talk to you about Bennett. But that's the mercenary who murdered one of my men. How come you're so sure that Bennett is the killer? We have a witness. As you can see, there is no doubt about the mercenary's guilt. What? Who is that witness? Cornelius, the governor's secretary, saw the murder. Um. His description fits Bennett, no doubt about that. As far as I am concerned, that settles the matter. The mercenary will hang for treason. I believe that Bennett is innocent. 
The evidence is clear. He is guilty. So what if the proof is wrong? Be careful what you say. You raise some serious accusations. If you cannot present me with evidence that the witness lied, then you had best hold your tongue. So I need to go to Cornelius. Gotta love when corporates push stuff when it isn't ready. The story, as far as I understand it, is um, Joe Wood was the publisher for the game over in Europe. Um, the, the game is... Uh, the game's publishing company, Piranha Bytes, is a German developer. They still operate over there in Germany, even to this day. They have a relatively small crew, so they're, the scope of the games that they've created are pretty fantastically large for how big their crew is. I think they have 33 current employees. That's no secret. Um, their games don't feel the most polished, I will say that. That is the one thing that goes against them, in my opinion, is their games always feel like they're lacking a certain level of polish that could just make them that much better. But despite that, every single game I've played from them so far has a certain level of charm and interest for me that makes me want to continue playing it. Granted, I don't want to touch Risen 2 because See, Risen 2 is supposed so to be absolute garbage. Um, I've touched Risen 1. Risen 1 has some issues, but I can definitely see Nuggets, so that makes me want to play it. And Risen 3 is definitely much more polished than Risen 1. Um, Risen 2, I'm just skipping entirely. I can't deal with here? it. Go. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. Who is Cornel Cornelius? is upstairs in that house. They have heart. They have a lot of heart. And that's the one thing about their 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 games in general, I think, which makes it stand out and which is why people tend to tout um, their stuff and why they have such a strong following, especially within the German crowd and the Europe crowd, is for a game developer that's been around since the 90s, um, they've really, really pour a lot of heart and soul into their games. Even if they're not polished, you can feel that they try. They really try to immerse you within a world. And I really appreciate the level of depth that they try to go to. Because I think for the most part they do care they do pull it off quite a bit. I feel like Cornelius is up here somewhere. There. You saw the murder of Lothar, didn't you? I need not answer any questions about a current investigation. Lord Hagen already has everything I know on record. What was it you saw? Really, I haven't got any time now. You need to go now. The office is closing. Cut out this magic crap. Don't fucking, like, talk to me. I am a follower of Enos. <laughs> he has a diary conveniently on him that probably says everything that's wrong. If Larius keeps on like that, I'm going to look out for another position. Something strange happened to me last night. I was visited in my home by one of those guys in black hoods. Oh, He's man. possessed. My we hear so much about so much about lately. I wasn't really nervous, even though they're supposed to be so evil. You could almost feel the power those men have. But the voice was calm and kind of made me made you want to trust the guy. He offered me twenty thousand pieces of gold to make sure one of the mercenaries gets convicted. He said I'd know what he meant when it happened. Of course I agreed right away. Those mercenaries don't deserve any better anyway. If it weren't for them, everything would be just fine for hit me here, and the gold will let me settle down to a comfortable retirement. It's happened. They've arrested one of those mercenaries. It should be easy to keep my word. Leave me alone, you... You... He wasn't even possessed. He was offered money. They're made with love like a good macaroni necklace. As much as a macaroni necklace or a piece of macaroni artwork can be made with love, that should be carefully put into a box, quote unquote, to be treasured forever and then stuffed into a garage somewhere and forgotten for all eternity. <laughs> hey, you. Cornelius lied. How did you know that? Here, I've got his diary. Everything's in there. That slimy little criminal! In view of the new evidence, there is nothing else I can do. By virtue of the office granted me by king and church, I declare... 
that the prisoner Bennett is exonerated of all charges and is thereby a free man. You want to do something about Cornelius, Cornelius upstairs? Cornelius is to be taken into okay. immediate custody for perjury. How's the situation? I must find a way to rescue this expert. We must do perhaps okay. the Eye of Enos can save. Yeah, I need to go get the Eye of Enos. Anyways, um, so, oh, the other thing I would end up, um, my brain just died just now. There was something else I was going to mention with regards to, uh, gothic. Oh, gothic and piranha bites games and stuff in hey, general. you, leave me alone. Um, one of the things I really like, which a lot of people not ne will not necessarily like, there are no quest markers for where anything is. And they do that with all of their games up through Risen 3, I want to say. Um, I think they've changed that a little bit. I kind of hope they don't. Because, to me, it's more immersive in the world when I listen to someone and they give me a hint or an idea of where to go. And if you've generally, genuinely been listening to the characters talk and talk to them, you get used to where certain people are located, where they've been, what they do. Um, and when something ends up happening, you end up figuring out, for the most part, what to do. Like, Bennett trying to get him out of jail, I had talked to everyone I could think of that was attached to him. I didn't know what else to do. And out of just pure fuck it, who's the next person in charge, it's that paladin up there in the governor's mansion right now. I went and talked to him. Sure enough, that ended up continuing the quest. He told me about Cornelius. I, I walked outside going, where the hell is this Cornelius person? Looked at all the houses, and then I remembered the story, said that the paladins, when they first came into the town in the beginning, had taken up residence in the governor's mansion and made that their base of operations. So I walked upstairs, and sure enough, Cornelius was up there. So that's how I kind of figured out where to go for that one. It's not hard... You just need to pay attention and you need to think a little bit. And sometimes when things are a little difficult, you run around in circles or you forget about a quest and then maybe you'll run across its path later on. I have all these quests. There's no way I'm going to do all of these. I'm supposed to kick Bulko's butt. I have kicked Bulko's butt. I'm supposed to do it for Pepe. Pepe's dead. I can't turn in that quest. So it just sits there permanently. But yeah, then it's not here. All right. So the person I want to talk to now would be Lee. Um, I do also appreciate that between Gothic 1 and Gothic 2, there are characters that, ex that extend throughout all of them. The mercenaries that are here on this farm are actually from what was known as the new camp in Gothic 1. And it's the story continuation. Lee was the head of the new camp over in Gothic 1. He is now the head of them as mercenaries here in Gothic 2. And so Lee, I know. Uh, Gorn is one of your permanent friend, quote unquote, one of your permanent friends and allies who follows the main character throughout most of the stories. So does Diego, so does Milton and Lester. Lester's currently in the swamp right now in front of a little campfire. He's not exactly sure what he wants to do. Milton is back with the fire mages because he is a fire mage. Diego's in the city right now, uh, taking up residence in a house and playing merchant. I don't know what he's doing. Any news about Bennett? At least he doesn't seem to have suffered any lasting damage in jail. Good work. Give me more shit than let me go talk to Bennett and Hodges. They're probably over here. I hate this armor that I'm wearing, by the way. It's made out of um, large insect um, arm plates. It's ugly, but it's good. Man, and here I was thinking they'd really hang me. Well, it worked all right in the end. You can say that again. You should have seen the face of the soldier when he had to let me out. He was so scared, he almost did it in his pants. Which reminds me, I've got something for you. What do you mean? A present. What present? We have heard of the dragons that are said to be in the valley. They're really there. All right, I believe you. 
Anyway, I thought you would surely want to participate in the upcoming dragon hunt. I'm sorry, what? And? Here, take this amulet. I think you'll need it more than I do. Fire. What about forging equipment? What do you need? Mine crawler belt, together with the crawler armor, gives me five, five, no. I would love to wear that because it increases my current protection because that's the crawler armor I'm wearing. Downside is I would have to take off the priest. No. What am I wearing? Here, buy that. What am I wearing? Belt of protection, seven and seven. This is five, five, and then plus five. So I think this will take, so my protection is 77, 77. I think it'll go up to 87, 87. 80, 80. It's, it is plus 10 each. It's except instead of seven, it's an extra three. That's actually pretty good. It's okay. It, it's, it, it could be better, but can't do anything about that. I think it's time to go after the Seekers and get the Eye of Enos. Actually, wait, who the fuck is Joe? Halon, a trader from Karina, says that a man named Joe has simply vanished without a trace. He claims that Joe knows how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. Wouldn't Joe have been at the bandit, the other camp? Wouldn't I have freed him? I don't know. Dragomir's crossbow, he lost it at a strange stone circle in the high northern mountains. I'm all the way south. The easiest way for me to get to where I need to go. Would technically be either from the tavern. Honestly, monastery. Only reason I can pay the hundred gold to Enos in donation, get the plus one magic, go sleep, do it again. I think I'm slowly running up to my max. You can only get 20 magic mana points this way. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go in here and sleep in this bed. Sleep until the morning. Pray. There is, it's very, very rare which ones I can do it with. All right. <clears throat> so we are going to go. Actually, we're going to go to the harbor. Going after the Eye of Enos now. <clears throat> you have to finish the drive home. Bye, Quizzy. Typical, isn't it? Hi, Fran. Uh, is it gonna get to go to the grocery store tonight? I have no idea what we're doing for dinner, but uh, yeah. I have some stuff in the fridge that I want to make use of. Like I have, I have a whole thing of feta cheese. Make tacos. I'm trying to make things healthier right now. I mean, I could make healthy tacos if I made like, uh, not the Americanized tacos, but like corn tortilla tacos with like cilantro, onion, grilled chicken and or meat or whatever. But you would have to like, I would have to marinate it to do it properly, and I don't want to 
take the time to do that right now because I don't have the ability to do it right now. How am I today? I'm a little tired. I'm actually wanting to go get some more coffee in a sec. Um, once I go up the stairs here, I'm going to save it. I'm going to go downstairs and fill up my cup. Usually make tacos with corn tortilla, chicken, lettuce, and guacamole. Mm -hmm. I don't like buying guacamole. I like making it. And my problem with Mexican food, and it's not really a problem so much, is I hate the store-bought stuff compared to, like, the homemade stuff. And it's just, there's so many tiny little components to put together that I just, I wear down my level of just energy these days. Like, I really want to make some more enchiladas. I love the enchiladas that I make. They are not traditional enchiladas. They're a lot healthier than normal enchiladas, but they're so good. Um, and, it, and at the best, I usually make some homemade guacamole, and then I make some homemade um, salsa um, that I put on top of it, and I'll have a pot of beans or something, whether it's refried beans or regular beans or whatever that would be on the side. And I love, love, love the way it comes out. But... Making all those little side things drives me nuts. Um, getting the Eye of Venus. Okay. I will BRB. I'm only going to mute the microphone. I'm just going to go grab some coffee. I'll be right back. Would be healthy and easy to make grilled chicken salad <laughs> I mean but I also make my own dressings too it would be easy enough to make I wouldn't mind it's just I have my other half of my sandwich here when I, now that I think of it um because we ordered delivery from a diner to uh for lunch because I was pretty much not ready to pre-make anything. Beyond that, I was also super tired this morning. Um, I know this entire woodland area I didn't quite fully flesh out. That's fine. Um, I know there's stuff around here that I probably have not done. This stat, that's broken. I'm betting that's messed up. Oh, it's not. <clears throat> kind of surprised, but I already got the other one at the monastery. You can only do it once a day.
Um, here's the stone circle. I've already dealt with the stone circle. I think I had found that this path is where I need to go. Yeah. Oh, there's another stone circle up here that the seekers are at. Maybe that's up up here. The uh, stone steps look really wonky because they're not, they're, it's just a flat plane that they tried to make it look three-dimensional with the textures. It does look relatively good in certain, um, at certain angles, but it's still a, it's still a ramp. <laughs> There's a seeker over there. All right, so as we have found beforehand, it takes a full complement of spells just to take out a, a Seeker. All my mana's gone. I don't know what's all the way around here. There's so many of them in there. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. So, my other thing that I was thinking of is that the King Sorrel was supposed to grow mostly around stone circles, they said. I'm wondering if there's a King Sorrel up there. King Sorrel, for anyone who hasn't paid attention, is an alchemical ingredient that makes potions that are permanent stat boosts. Um, I have the ability to permanently increase my mana with it. Hi, John Gollum. Maybe you can ask them nicely to stop their evil ritual of evil do. Resist... Maybe? Guys. You want to stop your evil ritual of doom? <clears throat> I mean... Where's my storm? There it is. Eight. Um... I mean, unless Fire Rain seriously affects them, because I do have Fire Rain, I also have the ability to summon a demon if need be. I don't want to have to take that path. That's a dead novice. Oh. There was a dead novice next to him. Why are there a whole bunch of dead novices out here? Hey. What weapon do I fight with? I have, um... What do I have? Yeah, I have the wand that gives you 20 MP. It's only 55 damage, which is not great, but... But that's not the reason why I use it. Um... One, two... <laughs> Four. How much mana do I have? Because that's 50. 228 out of 293. Mm. Can you guys stop your ritual of horrific evil? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. God. 
nothing there. They don't look like they're conducting a ritual of evil anymore. Is that three seekers running in circles with fire? What is going on over there? Do you see that? That looks like three seekers spinning in circles. I'm gonna have this mandible. I'm just gonna have a mandible this time. I'm too low. Er, eh. Secretion isn't having an effect. Is that because I had too many of them or? I don't know. It's really weird. Hold on. <gasps> Maybe you have a limit on how many of them you can have. That would make me sad. Thank God their evil ritual of doom is more important than their friend getting murdered. I mean... Look, come here. Did you just... Kill your own- That was my experience! Little piece of shit. Where is he? Look, I don't care. Stop it. Pretty sure the Seekers are running in circles. Look at all my meat. Yum. Here, let's, let's just eat this entire loaf of bread. For 10 hit points. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, why don't you just use a potion? No, I have cheese and bread. <laughs> oh, I also have those, but eh, here. I'm gonna save because I want to try a mandible again. I'm wondering if it's just screwed up secretion isn't having an effect so is there a limit on how many of those I can use that makes me really really sad or is it only once you get up to a certain point of like potions or a certain number of mana it's all like nah it doesn't work anymore because you have too much mana I have no idea There's two of them running in circles over there. I could see them. I see those idiots. Look at them. God, those three went down with three storms. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have a tree to protect me. Healing herb. Fire root. Healing herb. Dragomir's crossbow. Fireweed. Fire root. Seeker. Healing herb. Healing root. 
Look at that. The Eye of Enos. I wonder if they corrupted it. What is that sound? Healing arm. Look. I know I'm supposed to be grabbing that. I'm holding off. I'm grabbing other stuff real quick. Healing arm. Where's a King Sorrel? God damn it. <laughs> I better be a King Sorrel around here. Fire no. Hey! Your friends are dead. Hold on. I'll help you. You can join them in a second. Let's have some of these. The blue elders, they're great. Especially for like five mana points. Alright. How are you? You look great. You're missing. Ow. Bitch. A lot of them around. Look, to be fair, they have a lot of experience that they're giving me, sort of, I guess. I mean, they're dying horribly. <laughs> Here. <gasps> oh, tablet. Oh, yes. What is it? Be something good. Don't be something stupid like crossbow. Life energy one. Whatever. Something, I guess. Makes up some of the hit points I lost to Beliar. Ooh, Meadow Knotweed. I used to be excited for those until I bought so many I don't ha I don't I haven't used them all. I have so many I don't know what to do with. I don't remember where Dagomir is. I'm just gonna say that now. I'm supposed to return his crossbow. He lost his crossbow to Strange Stone Circle in the high northern mountains. this Pedro? No, it's just a dead novice. Why are all the novices dead? Why are there so many dead novices here? Why are there novices here, period? The fire mages are all like, we're super powerful. Send the apprentices. Like, we're too busy sitting on our asses. I do wonder about the mages in general, considering they're all like, we are all powerful thanks to our god Enos. And you're all like, Hey, I know some of you are super, super strong. Can you maybe go and help out? And they're like, no. <clears throat> like, well, what is your solution to this? We will send the novices. I don't think they have enough power to deal with. Don't worry. Novices. Thank you. I have the Eye of Enos. I don't know what this does. The gem is dull and powerless. I'm too late. Those numb skulls of the monastery let some novice steal the Eye of Enos, and now I can go running after the traitor Pedro and just hope he doesn't go and sell it to someone. I already found it. But, um, it's... it's... it's got no power. What do they do? Depower it? Use its power? Should probably go and I uh, talk to... I have the Eye of Enos. Who the fuck am I going to talk to about this? I can go and talk to the... <sighs> they left it on for too long and nobody can find the charger. <laughs> the Eye of Enos just needs to sit on its charger a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep until the morning. And Amazon no longer sells that type of charger, so the world is doomed. It sounds problematic. Faye. 
The Eye of Inos has been destroyed. What are you saying? Destroyed? I found it up in the northern forests. Unfortunately, I've only been able to salvage its fragments. It looks that pretty whole but empty. To stand up to those dragons, and it's gone. We have failed. What now? This is a painful blow. We have to reorient ourselves. I shall retreat and ponder the matter. In the meantime, you should go to town and talk to Vatras, the water mage. I could imagine that maybe he knows what's to be done. What happens if I go to the monastery instead? Will they be all like, all is lost. We fucked up. Hey, Milton. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> so the world is now doomed. Oh, wait. There's six chapters in this, I think, right? And we're on chapter three. You know, it's granted me plus one mana. I now have 294. Aw, oh, yeah. I want my frickin' robe. Beat it! You beat it. I have found the Eye of Inos. It's broken. What? That cannot be. What happened? Some really nasty customers had it. Anyway, customers? I came too late. They were performing a strange incantation on a crescent-shaped ritual site up in those woods. Enos be with us. They have desecrated our circle of the sun. Even in my worst nightmares, I could never have imagined they would possess this kind of power. What can we do now? The enemy has become very strong. Still, this ancient artifact meant a powerful threat to him. We must heal the eye and restore its old power. But time works against us. I cannot begin to imagine what is now going to become of us all. Without the protection of the eye, we are helplessly at the mercy of the enemy. Go to Vatras, the water mage in town. In this terrible situation, only he will know what is to be done. Take the eye to him, and hurry! What is the Circle of the Sun? Every year, all the magicians and novices of the monastery travel to this place at the time of the solstice to mark the beginning of a new cycle. The place is filled with the immeasurable power of the sun. Never have I entertained the slightest notion that its power could be reversed. And yet, that is what happened. Why Vatras? The privilege of the robe does not authorize you to question my instructions, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Vatras is a servant of Adonos. The knowledge of the water mages alone will bring us clarity in this dark hour. Did that is all you yourselves? need to know. I do want to increase my magic powers, but that's... <sighs> Do I cook a lot? Yes, typically I do. Um, lately I've been either tired or lazy and we've been ordering way more than we should. But yes, I do typically cook a lot. Your husband's upset because you don't cook a lot. Do you need tips on making it easier? Well, um... I don't know. Most of the time I, I do the cooking and I don't expect Isaac to cook unless I'm really, really, really tired than I will. And it's only because we both know that I cook better than he does. Tips on making it easier? Um, start out simple. Figure out what you enjoy cooking. Make sure you enjoy cooking because the enjoyment of cooking does a lot for you wanting to do it. Um, get used to prepping your stuff in advance before you actually start the cooking. It means you can actually pay more attention to what's on the stove. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And find simple recipes at first, I guess. Um, I can't really think of much beyond that, honestly. Where do you come from? I used to be captain of a big whaler, my boy. The sea is my home. My ship, the good old Magdalena, Wait, why is he here? was sunk by pirates a few months ago, and now 
I'm stranded here. All I ever wanted was to go back to sea. But since I've come here, not one schooner is called at this accursed port. The only ship which is anchored in Corinus is that blasted war galley of the king. And they don't take on anyone. So what else can I do? There's no work for me in town. I've tried everything. You better get off the road. Yeah, kind of what also what to what what Luna said if he's ups, if he's upset about it he can do the cooking kind of thing on the flip side if he's doing a lot of the cooking and he's upset because you're not contributing and he wants you to contribute then I can understand to some extent why you'd want to learn a little bit more about it and why he might be upset because there are times where I get upset with um with Isaac um, sometimes because I'm just really tired and I don't always want to cook and he'll get upset if I end up not wanting to cook. I mean, it's part of like being married, like things happen. Um, but we have an agreement now that if I'm really, really, really tired and we have the stuff to make here, he, he'll he make the stuff. But in general, I push myself to try and cook. You'd better get off the road. Hey, don't worry. I've already noticed that the wilderness out here has become damn dangerous in the last couple of days. And yeah, sautéing's your friend. Throw shit in the pan with oil and seasonings. Eat it over rice. Easy and tasty. Can be switched up with tons of flavors. Yeah. Same with some pasta as well. Um, olive oil, garlic, and... Olive oil and garlic alone with vegetables and some chicken. Fantastic on some pasta mixed in. You don't need anything more for a sauce other than some extra... Like a little bit of olive oil and garlic. You can also do like basil you can add into it. That's, that's a good basic flavor. Um vegetables really add up to the mix there's a lot of different things you can end up learning to do a lot of very simple stuff um i i i personally enjoy cooking i will say that one your kitchen one of the things too is um make sure you have preparation room in your kitchen and make sure that everything you need to use is close at hand and able to be grabbed easily because honestly a cluttered and or filthy area to prep your food in prior to cooking is incredibly frustrating and it's very difficult i am in a habit that when i get up in the mornings i tend to do one load of dishes minimum and before i start cooking i do another load of dishes and i'm constantly trying to cook and clean and get stuff done that goes for if we have enough stuff for cooking on hand i've usually made breakfast in the morning Isaac will end up like possibly using a pan or something for lunch and then dinner I'll end up using a bunch of pans. Um Yeah. You hardly know who to believe these days. Tell me that isn't um, true. Do I need to talk to any of you guys? No, armor armor. Listen to yeah. the wrong people. And then Orlin. I can always yeah, talk can to myself. Nothing amazes me. Oh, anymore. You're selling mine shares? Sure, you, you can get anything better. from me. If the price is right. I'd have gone about it differently. Show me your wares. No really Certainly, bro. That. That's been known a lot. <laughs> yeah, the head. I couldn't care less. But yeah, I will say that if 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 you're if he's getting angry at you because you're not cooking and he does not do cooking on his own, then there's a problem. If he's getting upset that you're not cooking and he's the one that's been cooking and he wants you to help contribute and make the burden a little bit easier, because sometimes it can feel like a burden, then I can understand where he's coming from. Um, everyone's situation and that kind of thing can end up being different. Um, I'm trying to teleport back to the monastery, which I know I ran from, but it's only because I got these and I wonder if I'll be done. God, there have been times when you've cooked all day so you don't have energy to do much other than leave the dishes out in the sink and waking up the next day can be so stressful. Yeah. That's totally Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't always clean up immediately while I'm cooking. I try to clean as I'm cooking, but I won't always do it. And there will be times where I'll just look at the kitchen and I'll be all like, I need to spend all if night you doing it. The robe, you deny in us. Um, but I don't. Upon this. And I don't want to cook. That has happened. I've been able to retrieve a mining share. Very good. You must remove them two all left. from circulation. Here, I will give. There's two left. Who else has mining shares? 
Who else sells things? Best way to deal with dishes and the experience is to make a habit of always rinsing everything with water immediately when you're done using it. Yeah, I tend to do that, and if I don't do that, I put what I plan on washing in the sink and I fill it with water. Like right now, the dishes that are down there that are in the sink are enough probably for another load and they've all been like having water in them. So it's a lot easier. I don't like scrubbing dishes. I need a few things. And if you do it right, you don't have to scrub dishes. Ring of magic. That's where it looks. What is this key to the portal of the monastery of Enos? What? Key to the portal of the what? Rinse it instead to wash later, but sometimes that could be overwhelming. It took you a while to get in the habit of washing as you go. You don't get overwhelmed. Yeah. I will if I'm making dishes that need to sit in the pan for a bit. I'll get into the habit of washing as I go. But I also use a lot of prep dishes too. I'll I have um. Open without the right key. I have a bunch of bowls. I have like three bowls on the side that I specifically use, and they're basically small, normal cereal size bowls. Um. Those are specifically held on the side for prepping. So I'll, if I cut up, a cut up a bunch of things that I need to put into a dish, I'll put them inside one of the bowls. I also have three larger metal bowls um, that I use as prep bowls. Um, those I got from a store that was on the West Coast I don't think is over here on the East Coast that I've seen called Smart and Final because Smart and Final has a lot of really cheap prep tools that restaurants will buy that's totally obvious where is dagomir that was obvious all along nothing's ever going to change that i am trying very very hard right now that's been known a long time to think where else do you really think any what oh i know who would buy stuff would ever change where's the landlord that one merchant down there in that little cabin over here he probably has some mind shares um chicken is the easiest thing to learn how to cook in my opinion eggs are also something that's very easy to master in general at least the basics of especially for breakfast eggs also cook very very quickly and I think a lot of people don't end up realizing it. Izik definitely doesn't end up realizing it. When I've told him, I'm all like, just make some eggs and put it in like in between two slices of bread. Ta-da. Quick egg breakfast sandwich. Or And I've told him to do that for lunch. And he's all like, I don't have the time. And I'm like, eggs literally cook within like a minute. If not less. You're not supposed to be doing it much longer than that. <laughs> you can. Other people do. But. Um... Yeah, having some basic prep bowls and having the proper tools to do stuff is amazing. I hate singular purpose objects in the kitchen just because they clutter and take up space and they're useless. Like, I will never, ever own a bowl. I know you've seen them before and I know other people have. Serving platters that are meant to hold deviled eggs that are shaped like an egg on each of the points. I hate those. I absolutely, utterly hate them. Hey, you. If I'm going to have a serving platter that I'm going to put deviled eggs on, I'm going to find something deviled eggs can work with and that I can put other stuff on. He doesn't have mind shares. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, this sucks. You don't make deviled eggs enough to warrant that. Yeah, no, I don't either. If I end up making deviled eggs and I take them anywhere, I usually... um. I usually just take them with me to, um, I wonder if Sagita has any mind shares. I doubt it, but I'm going to check. Um, if I take, um, deviled eggs, I usually make enough to put within a, just a casserole dish or something, and I put them in there. If you really want them to not slide around, the, the easiest trick I've seen, which granted I haven't really used it, put, get, like, a thing of lettuce and put some leaves down at the bottom and then put the eggs on top. The ribs and ridges on the lettuce will keep the eggs from sliding all over the place. And lettuce does not cost much. And using like two, three leaves at the bottom of a dish is not going to hurt anything. 
I don't think, I think Sagita might have something, but I doubt it. I'm still looking for the mind shares. I know there's two more out there. It said there's two more. I don't know who has them. It's also possible that the people that would normally have them according to the quest have turned in, which wouldn't make any sense to me, but that is a possibility. I mean, unless it's someone in the valley of the mines. What? Tell me what. Checking everything she has swamp weed, mineral not weed. No. Nothing. Fuck. All right. We're going to go to Vatros. I'm not going to worry about it. Arbor City. Um, but yeah, if you're... The other thing I would say from cooking is follow directions first. Find some simple recipes that you can follow. Follow those first. Once, if you ever get... If you get a knack for cooking, you can start... You can stop following recipes. You can kind of start going with the flow. If you're ever making something brand new for the first time ever and you found a recipe, do not try to wing it. Follow the recipe exactly with every ingredient in there as needed. Then afterwards, if you want to, make adjustments. But you're not going to know what adjustments are going to work until you've had the recipe as it was intended. Hey, you! Pyrocar sent me. The Eye of Vinos is broken. I know. I have already learned of it from some very upset novices. Wait, why do they know? The seekers have used the fire magician's circle of the sun to destroy the eye. Oh. I would call that an inspired move by the enemy. Why did Pyrocar send me to you of all people? I suspected that sooner or later, something like this would happen. Pyrocar always thinks himself so invulnerable and superior that it almost borders on carelessness. Thus his precautions for protecting the eye were also careless. I simply think that he unconsciously relies on the abilities which Adonis has granted me. Wow. Doesn't bear thinking about what would happen if I were not available now. News spreads fast in this city. That's a good thing, too. The enemy won't be sleeping, either. Kind of annoyed by the egg dishes, but also sort of like them because people usually get frustrated trying to get the eggs out, so I tend to eat, eat them. That's called needing a, a utensil on the side for people to, like, scoot, pull them out or whatever. If they're not the super shallow ones and they're the deeper ones, they should have, like, a spoon or something to help them pull out. People don't think sometimes. What will become of the eye now? We must join it back together, but that is no easy task, I fear. The setting is broken into two pieces. A skilled smith should be able to repair this, but that is not really the problem. It's rather the inlaid gem that worries me. It is dull and powerless. The enemy seems to have known exactly how to weaken it. Where can I find a smith capable of repairing the setting of the eye? Ask around in the area for someone who knows how to repair jewelry. Yeah, I can't even think who would know how to repair jewelry. There's a few smiths, yes, but jewelry? Mm. How can the gem get its power back? I see only one way. A union of the three reigning divinities should achieve the desired effect. A well-prepared ritual of reversal in the place of its destruction will give the gem back its fire. However, the problem is that you must bring an earthly representative of each of the three gods to this place. Furthermore, a lot of swamp weed is required for this ritual. I estimate it should be at least three plants. So... So, so drugs. Where can I find I already swamp have swamp weed? weed. <laughs> I have heard about an old quack in the woods named Sakita. She supposedly sells such herbs. But you could also try your luck down at the harbor. 
Who could those three earthly representatives be? I don't know, someone be? in the Fire Mages, Milton, I or something in Sardis. God Adonis myself. Pyrocar, the highest fire magician, would be the right person to represent the god Inos. But for Beliar, I cannot think of an appropriate candidate. It needs to be Zardos. Be someone who commands black magic. Black magic? What about Zardas? That's it. That could work. But I ask myself, how you will bring all three of us together? I can just see Pyrocar's face when he hears that he must cooperate with Zardas. Yeah, you usually get them out with a spoon. You just don't tell everyone because you love them. <laughs> I've got to go. I shall also set out and prepare the ceremony at the Circle of the Sun. Send Zardas and Pyrocar there. And don't forget to bring the swamp weed. I'm counting on you. Listen, people. I am needed elsewhere. It won't take long. When I return, I shall tell you the rest of the story. May Adonis be with you. All right. Meanwhile, he's going to be here, and all these people are just like, well... Hey, Valentino, hey. Wait a minute. So Do you have anything else to tell me? I've told you everything you need to know. The rest is up to you. I don't remember what he told me. Who says things like that? <laughs> Did you, that girl just say, who says things like that immediately after Valentino had said that? The timing was perfect. All right, so. The Eye of Enos is basically what we have to do. I can't do anything about this one, the fatal situation. I should end my relationship with Senyan. Wouldn't be very smart to attack him directly, though. I should talk to him before that. I already attacked him directly and killed him horribly. He died so quickly, it wasn't funny. Um, mental meanders. Fortuna wants green. Novice. He's regained his senses, but still remembers nothing. I can't even go back to them because they sold off that armor. I have to persuade Zardas and Pyrocar to take part in it, but I also have to find someone that's going to fix it. So let's go and talk first to the smith. Let's see if he knows someone. I don't necessarily know if our smith is going to be able to do it, but I mean, he's the only smith. There's the other one that's also down in the harbor. I've died from that drop before. I know I've mentioned it before, but there's a reason why I quick saved it because I have literally face planted and it killed me. And it shouldn't. But if you're slightly higher than that, and there's one or two spots in that wall where you could be slightly higher, it kills you on that drop. And it's really stupid. But it's at the same time, it's kind of funny. Um, I need to go up to. Just tell this to anyone. Have a safe trip. She called me Honored Magician. So as long as I'm wearing the robe, they're all like, oh, great, amazing magician. I never knew that. Really that. Wait a minute. Can you repair jewelry? I'm a weaponsmith, not a goldsmith. You probably won't find anyone here in the city who can help you. People don't have much money in their pockets anymore. And nobody's gotten rich here in quite a while. Most of them are just Bennett. glad if they have enough to eat. Maybe. Where can I find a goldsmith? There's supposed to be a good smith with the mercenaries on Onar's farm. Bennett. Maybe you should look there. Alright. We're gonna go to Bennett. Because he's the one that has to have it. I think I managed to kill off most of the Seekers that were roaming around this area, and I'm totally proud of myself for doing that. I also am wondering what would happen if I cast Storm around the Orcs. Would I just murder them horribly, or would they manage to resist it? I don't know. It'd be nice. Hey, Bennett. Can you have a look at this amulet? Sure, let me see. Hmm, that is a beautiful piece of work. The setting is shot. 
I think I can fix it, though. How long will it take you? If you leave it here with me, it'll be done by the time you come back tomorrow. Oh, how nice. I won't even charge you for it. You got me out of the slammer, after all. Here's the amulet. Please repair it for me. All right. I'll have finished the new setting by tomorrow. You can come to me and get it then. You know what I like about this? The fact that you just need some random jewelry maker to be able to fix it. It's like this great and amazing artifact. Who could fix it? Uh, yeah, just find a gold. Someone who makes jewelry or knows how to fix it, it's fine. It's like, what if it's a shoddy job? No, it'll be fine. <laughs> That's just what I said. I'm gonna try, I think I already paid the hundred for today, but I'm gonna test it. Yeah, I already did. Get the guy who did make car shoes fix it, it'll be fine. That's just what I said. Yeah, especially considering he's not supposed like I get You don't have to ask me that. I get that he's a blacksmith, but a blacksmith is not a goldsmith. There's a level there's a there's a very sh strong difference. You don't pound like a piece of jewelry with a hammer to shape it entirely. Oh no, we're broken. Ah. Yeah, we broke. We have to reload it. <laughs> Give me a sec. Here it comes again. Well and feel rested. Thankfully, I'm not possessed. We're gonna go to the statue of Enos first. How much mana do I have? 294. We're about to have 295, hopefully. Hopefully. Um. Pray. Once a day. <sighs> Spells are so expensive in this one. Hey, <clears throat> you. I have brought back the Eye of Innes. Why do I need to announce it to him? You were able to snatch the eye away from the enemy. But the danger has not been averted. Evil is making further plans and is proceeding with unusual aggression. I've already figured that out for myself. Do not mock me. The situation is serious, very serious. He's such an angry and we individual. we don't know whom we can trust. The enemy has already succeeded in leading the novice Pedro into temptation, and he may have success with many others. Maybe if you guys stop being asses to your novices. I want to learn the fourth circle of magic. It is still not. God, you suck. He's locked up in his room 23 hours a day. Of course he's mad. <laughs> in front of that one book stand. That's all he does. Alright, let's talk to Pyrocar. Look at the glowy glow that's up there. It sometimes is there and other times it's not. I've talked to Vatras. Ah, good. Where is he? He's preparing a ritual at the Circle of the Sun in order to heal the Eye of Innus. If that is true, then maybe there is hope after all. Vatras wants Zardas and you to help him with that. What? Zardas will be there too? You cannot be serious. Hey, this wasn't my decision. Vatras insists. It is always that Zardas. Thought you guys I'm thought he was dead. 
things could hardly get any worse. So how do I know that Zardas is not in league with the enemy? I cannot trust Zardas, no matter how much we may need him. I am sorry, but I cannot help Vatras under these circumstances. It can't be done without you. Vatras wouldn't be able to perform the ritual otherwise. You'll have to trust Zardas. There is nothing that I have to do, you hear? I do not have the slightest proof that Zardas is not working against us. I cannot do this. What if I could bring you some proof? That is impossible, I fear. It would really have to impress me. As far as Zardas is concerned, I have my doubts whether he can still impress me at all. Uh, 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 fucking hate you. Uh. Piece of shit. Oh, there is one that I could end up killing real quick. Hold on. Let me see. How much do I have? Two, 249,840. Out of 264,000. Holy shit, that's a lot that I need. I'm level 31. <laughs> what I do know is as much as I've been playing this game... Apparently, the further along into it you get, the quicker the chapters move. Apparently, once I'm done with cha chapter one and chapter two are the longest, which they were the longest. Chapter three... Chapter three is much quicker um, than them, but they are still relatively decently long, as I've been experiencing. Chapter four... I want to say chapter 4, 5, and 6 from what I've heard. I should be running through those relatively quickly. The Seeker's gone. There used to be a Seeker here. That's different. Hmm. I did not expect that you could run on this, honestly. How'd I do that? And I'm gonna see what's over here. Because I have never been over here. Not as far as I know. Oh. Is that a tablet? It's a scroll. It's fireball. What is that? Is that a lizard? Sure as heck looks like a lizard. Where am I? That's weird. I thought I've been here. I wonder if it's somehow coming around to attack, or if it got lost. Wait, where'd it go? Might have done better if I had just used the storm spell. I might have been able to hit them. Oh, come here. Ah. 
Yeah, I've not been here. Which is really odd. But at the same point, there's a lot of little areas in the game, it seems. What is this? Amulet of Enlightenment. 30 hit points, 10 mana. It's okay. It's nothing I want to use right now. It would have been good in the beginning. Um... Guys... I think they all died and I lost all that experience. So rather than hitting them... Yeah, it's better to get the experience. Nothing that. to plunder. Like, Stop it. What are you gonna do? This little rat's all like, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Fire nettle. I mean, there's a lot of potions I can make at this point. I'm uh, So part of the reason why I'm doing this too is considering there's this tiny little area I missed, I am wondering if there's a king sorrel around here. I mean, I missed it, so... Let me get this amulet. There we go. That and the fact that I can just murder all of this stuff all at once now. Instead of having the issues I used to have. Um... Not really seeing much. The Blue Elder's worthwhile, sort of. It's not as great for me anymore because I have so much more mana now. But the five hip, the five, um, the five MP is not horrible. It's not great either, honestly. What about this? Oh. I just don't want to deal with you. Boars. Frickin' boars. Yeah, I feel like this is just slowly leading down to Lester. Fun fact, what spawns up here depends on the guild you join, really? I mean, I know the Seekers. It depends. Um, I think it's kind of cool that there's enough replayability in the game that it's like, oh, do you want to play the game again? It could be totally different depending on who you end up joining. 
you join this faction or this faction. Like, the Seekers are not always the enemies as far as I understand them. I don't think they always exist. Do they? I think they only appear if you end up joining the Magicians. Um, I think otherwise there's something else that ends up showing up if you end up picking, like, Paladins or Warrior or whatever. I think I remember hearing that. I don't know if I want to go like this way. Oh, that's to the cave. I'm on top of where the cave is. Seekers always exist? Oh, okay. I thought they didn't always exist. I guess, okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense considering the Eye of Enos needs to be taken or something. I thought I had read that they don't always exist. I'm not taking the robe off. I would love to take the robe off, but I'm tired of having to go back to the Magician's Guild and changing because they have issues. Yo, we need you. Hey. Vatra sent me to you. That's good. What did he say? He said something about a reversal ritual at the Circle of the Sun? <laughs> that old devil. I think I know what he's up to. You have come to summon me to him. Looks like it. When will you set out? I must not keep Vatras waiting. I shall be on my way immediately. You must fulfill your tasks and then join me again. Um. Okay. Wait a minute. Pyrocar gets cold feet when he thinks of Zardus. I'm going to have to discuss with Zardus how to get him to the come to the ritual. Oh, let's talk to Zardus real quick. Oh my god, am I going to have to run all the way there? Is he gone? Why can't you walk slowly? Or did he go upstairs because he's teleporting from there? God damn it. Oh, there's a statue belly are there. Oh, fucking hell. All right. We're going to have to go to... Honestly, the tavern. Because we can rest here. We can go and we can teleport to the city and then we can get closer to it. One way or another. All over again. Nobody wants to know. Till next morning. I need to figure out what games I'm playing coming up. Considering Gothic 2 is the only one that I've been playing is it really true? for the long haul that is not done yet. I've got no time for things like that. I need to figure out the other two like slots minimum. I mean, I'm going to continue playing um, Zelda 2. That's a no-brainer. I'm definitely going to continue that. Um, but as far as like a more of a long haul Zelda, I probably will pick one. Um, but I do want to put a horror game into the mix. I kind of low-key want to play a little bit more of Arkham Horror, but at the same time, I'm... Eh. On it. I don't know. I'll probably play some more of that, at least until I figure something out. That'll be my placeholder, I think. 
I enjoy it for what it is. It's it's not as good as I was hoping it was going to be, but it is decent. I think they could have done a lot more to make it have more replayability. But, eh. Who knows? Alright, so we're going up this way now. Pulling out a spell... See, I want to pull out a spell just in case I run across an enemy, but at the same time, I'm like, I probably shouldn't have anything out just in case. <sighs> Convincing pyro car. I'm very much aware of the time, but I'm also being mindful of when Izzet gets out of work because he's been working late lately. And I need to wait for him before we go anywhere. I already slept and wonder if I can use this. Thank you. Save. -o. Two ninety six. Ah, yeah. Technically two thirty six. Whatever. Neither here nor there. I have. Oh, actually, no. It's eighty less. The wait. Is it eighty? It's 80 or 60. I think it's 60, actually. Shh, not, this is not the circle. For a second, I was confused. I'm like, why aren't they here? And then I'm like, oh, wait, no, it's up here. <laughs> it's further in. Although I do have to use the bathroom soon, so maybe I'll stop sooner than I think. Maybe we'll go up here, see them up there, and I'll stop for the day with this. I think, I mean, I made good progress. We went from just going around doing some side quests to actually being on the main story. And I think I leveled up at least once, maybe twice. I didn't really pay attention. Yeah, they're both here. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, you! Pyrocar refuses to show up for the ritual. First, he wants proof that he can trust you. Ah, uh, really? Pyrocar. How interesting. That old geezer is getting to be a nuisance. But I think I've got something for you that'll be useful. Back when I left the Order of the Fire Magicians, I took a few things with me from the monastery. I didn't want a troop of paladins or fire magicians to turn my tower upside down at some point and find all those things. So I hid them in safe places where the magicians <sighs> would certainly never look for them. Oh my god. And where? Some of them lie locked in a chest on Sekob's farm. Oh. You trust that Sekob? No. But he can be bought and ask no awkward questions. He's dead. Also. The chest is locked. Here's the key. There's a very old book among those things. When Pyrocar sees that book, he'll know it came from me. It is of no further use to me. So I guess it can at least fulfill this purpose. Is the reversal ritual going to work? I cannot be sure. That depends on what exactly Vatras is going to do. <laughs> locked with a key? What new spore of madness is this? I like the fact that he's all like, can we trust this Vatras guy? And he's all like, he'll be fine. I'm like, well, actually, he's dead. He died. A stone guardian trampled over him and his entire farm. To be fair, he died taking down most of that stone guardian's health to the point where I was able to murder it. So, yeah. Also, his son was an ass, so we didn't mind. Oh, and we found two people that somehow survived that was lurking at the edge of his field, but since I declared it to be my farm, I just murdered them and it was fine. 
Hey, you. Is the amulet ready? Yes. Here. I had to make a new setting for the stone. I worked on it all night, and now it's as good as new. New setting. A slime. Do you really believe that? Dang. That's been known a long time. And that's the truth. No one really wants to hear that. I want to go over here. Yeah, we started an hour late, Slime. Um, I overslept. I way overslept. I was so exhausted there was no getting me out of bed. I eventually had to force myself up. I see this over here. I never noticed this. What is this? Healing herb? A leather satchel. Another bag with 25 gold. Is this lady's body gone? No. She's still here. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Who is this? Does it say or does it just say farmer? I don't know. Is the eyes fixed? Yeah, the eye. Well, the setting is fixed, apparently, because a blacksmith is able to do goldsmith work. I don't know. Do we question this stuff as much? No. Halls of Eardurath. Ring of Magic. Create Goblin Skeleton Rune. That's nice. All right. So we have to take this book back to him, but I kind of want to read it first. Convincing Pyrocar. We're also going to quick save. I... I'm going to call it quits here because I am getting exhaustedly tired because I'm just tired today and I have no idea why. I've had a lot of fun. We're going to be playing more tomorrow. We're definitely playing more Gothic. We're definitely playing more Zelda 2. I will be figuring out what else I'm doing. In the meantime, we're going to send you off. I want to thank you guys for being here. It's been fantastic. We will hopefully see you later. Why don't you show some love to... You know what? Go and say hi to Sinnoh. Uh, he's playing Dead by Daylight. Have a wonderful time. Thank you for being here. And we'll see you again later. Bye.